Hey guys and welcome back to Cozy Co or welcome if you are new. So in today's video we're going to be doing some home refresh just doing a few key areas around the house and I'm going to be starting off with dusting the windows. These just get really really bad and neglected since they're behind the couch and after that I have some other areas to target in the living room and we're also going to be heading into my storage closet. And by the way, the duster that I'm using is just from Dollar Tree. I love it because it's super small, so it's easy to carry around. And it's little and you can get in between the little grooves of the blinds. So I really like that. And after all that dust fell, I just gave it um, the area of vacuum behind there off camera. And now I'm just going ahead and give it a nice and fresh mop. And I did just want to go ahead and tell you guys because you guys can probably see my shirt with the little baby feet on it. But yes, I am so excited. I am expecting a baby boy this fall. I think when I filmed this video, I was just over... 21 weeks pregnant but i'm much bigger than this now but that's pretty much the biggest reason why videos have been being uploaded so sparingly but i do record a lot and i have a lot of nesting content and things for you guys so i'm so excited for this next journey and to share a little bit of piece of that with you guys so definitely make sure you're subscribed for baby updates And staying in the living room, I like to get this couch clean, pulling out all the cushions as you guys saw. And I just went ahead and put a time lapse. I feel like I do this so often on my channel, so I wanted to just speed through this for you guys. But the main area that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be shampooing this ottoman. As you guys can see, the top of it was black. It had been raining where I live and my pups, this is like their favorite spot to lounge on besides their own bed. So it just got really bad and filthy. So I'm going to be using the Bissell Pet carpet machine and I'm literally going to get this thing soaked and soak all of that uh, gunk up. And I left a lot of satisfying clips in here for you guys to see how dirty it truly was. And if you're curious, this um, Bissell machine, I'm not actually sure if they still make it. This is actually, I'm using it from my mom's house. We got this when I lived with her and um, when my oldest dog was a puppy. So at least 
probably about five years ago now so i'm not sure if this model is still on the market but if it is i'll leave it in the description box for you guys and if you have been on my channel for a while you know that i had the little hoover pet dash but it actually won it doesn't have this arm attachment so i wouldn't be able to do this but it actually broke it started like smoking and having a burnt smell so i had to go ahead and trash that so i went ahead and borrowed this one from my mom's house and i'll be getting an another one soon so definitely leave some carpet cleaning recommendations down below because i like to keep those in the house So I basically just repeated this process. I was really focusing on the top because that is where most of the dirt was, the actual top and then the sides. And then I did do the actual um, sides of the ottoman off camera a bit, but I just repeated this process over and over, sucking, sucking up as much of that. And here's how it looked after it dried. So not perfect, but definitely much better than how it started and i think i'm going to be doing this more routinely so that it's not getting as black and dirty and that it goes with the gray of the actual furniture and is not looking brown so like i said earlier we're going to be heading into my storage closet and if you guys have been on my channel for a while then you know this little storage area just drives me insane and it has been for a long time so one of my goals when I first saw this little storage closet was to have a cleaning shelf, a little cleaning closet for me, house all of our cleaning supplies, and so that they're easily accessible. So I finally picked up this little utility shelf from Walmart. I think it was under 20 bucks. So I'm just going to get this set up in here, but the first thing we need to do was get the area clean. As you guys can see, there was dust and like little hair from the brooms that I need to clean up and get clean before I could actually place the shelf in there. So I went ahead and vacuumed that area and also gave it a fresh mop and while that's drying I'm going to go ahead and put together this plastic utility shelf. It was super simple to put together. Um, I just kind of messed up because I didn't see that all the sides were supposed to go a different way. There was one side where it had like a little round side to it and then another side that had a, just a straight that side would go against the wall so I didn't see that at first so I had to kind of start over but it was super simple as you guys can see and while I'm putting, to, putting this together I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a few channel updates so like I said I have been filming it just takes me a little while longer or has been lately to actually edit and upload but some of the things that I have is a patio makeover. We finally got some patio furniture and I decorated out there. We've been using it the whole summer when it's not scorching hot. So I want to show you guys that and I know we'll get more use out of it in the fall. 
also like I said since I am pregnant I've been doing nesting so just nesting cleaning videos also we did the nursery or room transformation for that and I want to give you guys a tour of the completed nursery so those are a few videos you can expect from me coming up I'm just so excited to share I am going to be uploading more content soon I really love putting these videos together so you can definitely expect to see more cozy content Um, I really like how I positioned this shelf and how it came out. It's tall enough so I can see all the cleaning products and I can get them organized. One day I want to do like maybe cute mason jars or something besides the actual cleaning bottles just to make it look more aesthetically pleasing but for now it works it does what it's supposed to do and i also want to say don't forget to stay to the end of this video i actually have a super easy crock pot recipe for you guys for what we were having for dinner on this night so stay till the end of the video if you need an easy meal idea And here's your reminder, I give these often and every time I clean these I just want to remind all my dog moms and pet owners to clean your food containers of theirs because those things get gunky and they can definitely attract bugs so I always like to give these a good wipe down daily. Okay, so this is possibly the easiest crock pot meal ever, chicken and rice. All you're gonna need is some chicken breast, some broccoli and cheese soup, and I use this boil in a bag of rice, or you can use, you know, raw fresh rice. I go ahead and shred down the chicken, and then I basically add in the broccoli and cheese as well as the rice and stir it all together, serve it with garlic bread. It's super easy, super delicious. Let me know if you guys try it out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you some motivation. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more and I'll see you guys in the next one.